Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch, and welcome to another optional tutorial in our Game Development for Complete Beginners series. Now, this is actually coming in response to an email question I got, and it's one of those things I actually encounter enough that I figured I would do it as an answer here. And the question was, what is the difference between a scripting language and programming? So what's the difference between scripting and programming? And the truth of the matter is nothing. Scripting is a type of programming. And this is one of those things that's kind of confusing, especially to beginners, but it's confusing to all of us. It's a semantics issue, but it's one of those things you should probably understand right up front. And what the person asking me was probably asking was what is the difference between uh, a scripting language or a compiled language? And that is also something that is a little bit confusing and generally doesn't matter too much. But I'm going to try and get through all of that very quickly in this answer. Now, first off, programming is a pretty simple concept to understand because we have real world parallels. You can program your VCR. You can program uh, people. Um, you know, conditioning is basically a form of programming. We are we encounter programming in real life, and computer programming is isn't that much different. Programming is simply um, telling a telling us something what to do or how to respond to an event. Really, that's about it. So a program is a set of instructions or a set of responses. And so when we are programming a computer. We have a number of different ways of doing this, different programming languages. Now, some are visual. You literally just drag and drop how you want things to respond. And then there's a couple of other different ways to go about it. One of the most popular ways is a compiled language. Uh, now, the compiled languages can come in many, many forms. But your most popular are probably uh, Java, C Sharp, uh, C++. And what they do is they turn your instructions, so the code you type gets turned into sort of a form of machine code that the computer can understand. Now there's a difference there, there's something you might have heard of called a virtual machine. And that is the approach that C Sharp and Java take. And a virtual machine is basically just a virtual computer that can understand your program and then in turn runs it. Or you've got C++ or C which compile right down to basically kind of machine code that just is a program that your computer knows how to run. And at the end of it all, way down below, below assembly even, there's basically machine language, which is what the computer speaks. And it's a very simple language, actually. And it's a series of if this, do that kind of responses, or if you write to this special magical area, I will do this special magical response. And on top of that, so we built all these programming languages that build down to that little layer. And so that's your basic compiled languages there. And your virtual machines are also still ultimately compiled languages. In fact, they have to be to run on um, iOS because of a rule that Apple put in. So those languages that have these virtual machines don't need to. They can be compiled right down to a machine level code that is considered quote unquote native. Now on top of that, we have um, programming languages such as Lua that we're using in this series. Now Lua is something called um, an interpretive language. Uh, what that basically means is that it runs in an interpreter. Now it's a lot like a virtual machine, but it isn't compiled down into a language first off. It is sent in as a script and the interpreter figures out what to do with it. Sort of like an interpreter in real life. If you were to speak to somebody that doesn't speak the same language as you, you give your speech to the interpreter and the interpreter then spits it out to the other person. But instead of speaking to another person, it is speaking to your computer. So that is essentially what an interpretive language like Lua is. Now, of course, there are some trade-offs to that and some advantages to it. Just as there's some advantages to native compilation versus virtual machine. In the case of a virtual machine, uh, it can be run in this virtual machine, so there can be added security. You can do things, something like um, introspection or reflection, which is the ability to look at code as you're running code. It's kind of an advanced topic. Don't worry about that one too much. And the same are true of interpretive programming languages. Plus, they allow you to do a couple of other things, like um, you can create REPLs, uh, which is read, evaluate, print, loop, which is kind of what we saw in the previous tutorial, the first tutorial on getting started with Lua, the ability to just type in code and see it run. Well, that's one of those things where um, an interpretive language really shines. So at the end of the day, Scripting is a type of programming. Um, just about everything is a type of programming. If it's stored on the computer, it can be, it's a set of instructions that can be run and run again and again and again. That's programming, period. Whether it's creating a batch file to tell your computer how to copy some files over and over again, whether it's programming in C++ and compiling it down to machine code, or it's writing a script like in Lua and running it through an interpreter. Those are all types of programming. Now, where the question mark quite com might come in is the word scripting. Now, scripting is a special kind of programming, and really all it is is you're programming for a language that has been embedded in an application. 
So in this case, uh, I mentioned earlier, if you watch the optional on what is Lua, I said Lua embeds, sorry, love embeds the Lua interpreter. So what you are doing when you are typing Lua code and running it in a program such as love is your scripting it. Same way as if you look at a game engine such as Unity. Unity takes JavaScript boo or um, C Sharp code as input. But what you're really doing is scripting that engine. The same deal can be said for um, Unreal Engine using blueprints. So scripting is really just a type of programming, but to a specific application or an engine. If it's got a language embedded in it and it responds to it accordingly, you're scripting it. So there really, there's no difference. Scripting is a type of programming. It's just a very well-defined type. So that is it. That is the difference between programming and scripting. In other words, there is none. Scripting is a type of programming, a very specific type of programming. And at the same time, an interpretive language versus a compiled language, it's just what the output is. In a script, it stays a script and it is run by the interpreter, whereas in a compiled, it is turned into some kind of an object or a machine code, which is either run by the computer itself or by a virtual machine on the computer. So that is small difference. A lot of it's just down to semantics. It's one of those things that can be a little confusing and you don't need to know this, which is why I flagged it as optional. But for some of those people who are wondering what the differences are, that's what they are. Hope that was useful. Hope that was somewhat informative. See you later. Bye.